In more news, churches, temples and mosques are reopening their doors, but not all members are coming back. Some prefer online streaming. Others stopped attending services altogether. But as Amanda Brandis explains, church membership was already on the decline. What we learned was God said, you know what? If the government shuts the church down, I'm good with that. And I think one of the things he accomplished was to show the churches how weak they were. A wake-up call. And, and what work they have to do. I don't know anybody that likes what's going on. Already streaming Sunday services, Pastor Miles McPherson says his church was better prepared than most. The numbers online are going through the roof. I mean, our numbers online have gone 100 times, 200 times. Churches need to be flexible to be relevant. Able to reach people worldwide, he says it's a powerful tool. Now, people do need people. I mean, if people, all they're going to do is consume online. It's very limited of what they can do. And so eventually you want them going somewhere. Well, in-person attendance is starting to rebound, polls show it's still far from normal. And church membership has been declining for decades. I don't affiliate formally with any of these religious beliefs, even though I guess I am sort of culturally Christian. Columnist and author Jill Filipovich has researched changing religious preferences and authored a book about millennials. She says many are leaving organized religion and not coming back. Part of a growing trend, religious nuns are made up of atheists, agnostics, those with no organized religion, and the spiritual. It's such a key part of the human condition to want to understand, you know, why am I here? What is my purpose? Some religious leaders worry the drop in attendance will outlive the pandemic. Gallup began asking Americans this question in 1937. Church membership was at 73 percent. It remained around 70 percent for the next six decades before a steady decline around the turn of the 21st century, dropping below 50 percent for the first time in 2020. That hasn't been my experience. Uh, our experience is that we have more and more people wanting to get involved. With closures expected to accelerate, his congregation could serve as a model for what's working. Churches that are engaged in the community that are addressing social issues that have a cause behind them other than come listen to me speak and give us money. He says attracting new members goes beyond the lights and live music. I went from doing cocaine, smoking weed, hanging out, being in the NFL to I'm reading the Bible. That's what I share about is how relevant the gospel is to your life, no matter what you're going through. And while they want people back in church physically, they're embracing new ways of reaching people. So it can help them wherever they are. In San Diego, I'm Amanda Brandeis.